Hello friends, welcome to the last section of the course, Optimising App Performance. In this section we'll be first optimising the React Native application size, then we'll optimise the performance of native modules and UI components of both iOS and Android. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with optimising React Native application size. In this video we'll be discussing about the techniques to limit production package file size in both iOS and Android React Native applications. First, we'll start off with some optimizations with our bundled assets. Often you have to include image assets, external fonts and other data files with your application. We'll now look at some optimization techniques. First technique is for PNG and JPEG lossy compression. Here we can use a service such as tinypng.com. This service claims that it can reduce file size upwards of 70%. If you're using the React Native Vector Icons library, you'll notice that it bundles eight different font icon sets. Feel free to remove the icon font libraries that you're not using. Also, SVG files can be compressed and optimized. You can use the service compressor.io for this. Last technique is to compress the audio assets to AAC or MP3. On the JavaScript side of things, you have to keep in mind that Babel will take your ES6 or 7 code and transpile it. The transpilation will cause polyfills to be generated and used for these features. This will result in a substantially larger file size of your JS bundle. You can limit this by using fewer ES6 features. You should consider though the debate of performance versus maintainability. You can read more about this from this site. For iOS there's not much we can do at the moment as all the best practices for reducing IPA size are enabled on the release scheme. These practices include enabling bit code for app thinning and setting the compiler optimization to fastest, smallest. For Android, there is some room for reducing the file APK file size. In Android Studio, an open build.gradle file and change the lines with these values. If you only plan to target ARM based Android devices, we can prevent it from building x86 altogether. In build.gradle, splits ABI object, change this line to not have x86 anymore. The smaller we keep our JavaScript bundle, the faster the JavaScript interpreter will pass the code and thus load the application. The smaller we keep our IPA and APK, the faster users will be able to download the application. And if our application is huge, it may mean the difference between marking it as Wi-Fi only on the App Store. In this video, we learned the techniques to optimize the React Native application size. Good.